Hello, welcome to Buy Great TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss our next video. This is the biography of Patrice Emery Lumumba. Patrice Emery Lumumba was a Congolese politician and independence leader. He was the first Prime Minister of the Republic of the Congo, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo from June until September 1960. He played a very big role in the transformation of his native country from a colony of Belgium into an independent republic. A Pan-Africanist and African nationalist, Lumumba was also the leader of the Movement National Congolese MNT Party from 1958 until he was assassinated. Lumumba was born as Elias Okita Sombo on July 2, 1925 to the family of Francois Tolenga Oteshima and Julian Wamato Lomenja. He was born in Onalua in Katakokembe region of the Kasai province of the then Belgian Congo, now the DR Congo. As a member of the Tetela ethnic group, his original surname, which is Okita Sombo, means heir of the cursed, broken down as Okita, which means heir or successor, and Asombo, which means cursed or bewitched people who would die quickly. Lumumba had three brothers and a half-brother named Charles Lokonga, Emile Kaleme, Louis Onema Pane, and Tolenga Jean. He was raised in a Catholic family, educated at a Protestant primary school and a Catholic missionary school. He later proceeded to the government post office training school where he passed the one-year course with distinction. Lumumba was known to speak many languages. This includes his native of the Tela, French, Swahili, Lingala, and Shibula. Outside his regular studies, he had interest in the Enlightenment ideals of Jean Jacques Rousseau, Voltaire, Molière, and Victor Hugo. He was a poet, and many of his works had anti imperialistic themes. In his early days, he worked as a traveling bear salesman in Leopoldville. He also worked at Stanleyville Post Office as a postal clerk for 11 years. After World War II, Lumumba became regional head of the circles of Stanleyville and joined the Liberty Party of Belgium. He was an editor and was in charge of the editing and distribution of the party literature. In 1956, he was arrested for the embezzlement of $2,500 from the post office and sentenced a year later to 12 months imprisonment and a fine. Lumumba left the prison to help found the Mouvement National Congolais MNC Party on the 5th of October 1958. He became the leader of a party that promoted independence, gradual Africanization of the government, state-led economic development, as well as neutrality in foreign affairs. A leader with personal charisma, excellent oratory skills, ideological sophistication, and a strong character, he was widely followed. In December of 1958, Lumumba was one of the delegates who represented the MNC at the All-African People's Conference held in Accra, Ghana. He solidified his Pan-Africanist beliefs in that conference. The Ghanaian host President Kwame Nkrumah was impressed by his intelligence and his ability. Lumumba was considered by some as the Nkrumah of Congo. He was, however, on October 1959, arrested for inciting an anti-colonial riot in Stanleyville that led to 30 people being killed and was sentenced to 69 months in prison. Despite his imprisonment, the party MNC won a convincing majority in the December local elections in the Congo. He was later released after pressure from delegates so as to attend a Congolese roundtable conference in Brussels. Lumumba served as the first prime minister under the government of President Joseph Kasavubu. His reign was less than four months from the 24th of June 1960 to the 5th of September that same year. After the country got her independence, some soldiers rebelled among the army and that marked the beginning of the Congo crisis. Lumumba appealed to the United States and the United Nations for help to suppress the Belgian-supported Katangan secessionists. He turned to the Soviet Union after the US and UN refused to help. This move led to differences between President Kasavubu and Chief of Staff Joseph Desire Mobutu, a matter that eventually led to his death. Lumumba's move to get support from the Soviet Union instigated the differences between his government, the United States, as well as Belgium. 
He was subsequently imprisoned by state authorities under Mobutu, the ex-chief of defense staff who became the state dictator, and executed by a firing squad under the command of the Katangan authorities. Lumumba was killed along with two others, Mpolo and Okito. They were all lined up against the tree and shot one at a time. The execution is thought to have taken place on the 17th of January in 1961. Apart from the local and Katangan authorities supported by Belgium, the United States was also alleged to be involved in his death. No statement was released until three weeks later, despite rumors that Lumumba was dead. His death was formally announced over the Katangan radio three days after it was rumored that he fled the prison with two others. It was alleged that he was killed by angry villagers three days after escaping from Colette prison farm. His death was marked by street protests in several European regions such as Belgrade and London. In New York City, a demonstration at the United Nations Security Council turned violent and spilled over into the streets. Lumumba can be described as a man of strong character. As a result of his short career in government and his controversial death, a consensus has not yet been reached on his political legacy. He is widely remembered for his assassination, which has made him a symbol. The ideological legacy of Lumumba is known as Lumumbism. His death also leads to the radicalization of the American civil rights movement in 1960. In 1964, Malcolm X declared Lumumba as the greatest black man who ever walked the African continent. He is also seen as a mentor for the wider Pan-African movement. What's your take on Lumumba as an African politician? Let us know in the comment section below. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, then please like this video, share and subscribe.